Well, this is uh, my video on the North Face Winona 4. Now, I did this video as a setup and tear down because as I was looking around for videos on the Winona 4, I didn't find any. I mean, there were like two and they were short. And nobody went to the effort of putting together a longer video. Now this this one's long. Uh, we are talking, you know, 27 minutes or so. Um, but I'm going through the complete setup and tear down. Now, first I'd like to make a shout out to uh, <laughs> A and B uh, Camping, uh, Tony and Bruce. Um, he threw out a video. Uh, he got the one on for, and he just threw it out recently. And uh, he he did the setup. <laughs> <laughs> in a remarkably short time I got it my hats off to his editing um, I've tried to do some shortening editing but uh, hey, I'm, I'm new at this so I'm working on it so <laughs> uh, instead of getting a, um, a footprint I got a I got a tarp I got a heavy-duty tarp so it doesn't deteriorate like some of those blue ones and it's um, uh, 8 by 10 feet so it's the perfect size for uh, the footprint underneath. Oh, there goes the dog, Roly Poly. He just loves rolling in the grass. Anyway, I threw the uh, footprint down, and uh, this is the first time uh, setting up the tent. Now, one thing about the tent was uh, I got it at a store on a clearance sale, and uh, they told me it was brand new. But when I got it, it, it did appear to have been opened and did appear to have been set up. And what it was was... Um, it was a floor demo, but they didn't tell me that. So I had to get it set up um, soon because I had 30 days to check it out and uh, see if there's anything uh, anything wrong with it. So, spoiler alert, nothing wrong with it. It's, uh, it's fine. Um, and uh, definitely, uh, as Tony would say, it was easy to set up. Uh, I watched his video several times uh, to go through his... Uh, speeded up version of setting it up um, and uh, I was uh, quite impressed with the uh, with the tent he has the Winona 6 which I considered getting but the price point was pretty high here in Canada so uh, I, I opted for the Winona 4 and the fact that it was 41% off at the store I went to um, was the what sealed the deal so uh, my dog there is Buddy, and Buddy is 50% uh, Australian Shepherd and 50% Golden Retriever. And he's my partner in crime, and uh, we do everything together. And we plan on uh, doing some camping. Last year we ended up camping in the, uh, in the backyard in my other tent, which is uh, an outbound tent, and it was an eight-person tent. And I say was, but it is, because I still have it. And the poles on it were fiberglass. These ones are that DAC aluminum. Are they ever nice and light? And what a snap to put together. Uh, and didn't have any issues whatsoever with them. Um, I was quite, I'm quite impressed with these aluminum poles as far as their lightness and their strength compared to the, uh, my previous experience with uh, fiberglass poles. Fiberglass poles work, but they're pretty heavy. You, you don't realize just how heavy they are. Uh, this tent, I think, is... Uh, in the bag is 13 pounds, I believe, something like that. But uh, definitely uh, an impressive, uh, impressive tent, and the poles are, are, are a breeze to put together. And uh, and setting up is, uh, as you, you're going to see, is is quite uh, simple too. And I do have my audience of uh, Buddy there, who's uh, his contribution, <laughs> and uh, it uh, he was uh, quite quite pleased to be able to sit around and, and watch and uh, later on uh, uh, he goes in the tent and he likes the inside. He liked the, he liked the other tent too. Uh, he went inside my outbound and uh, we actually, uh, due to COVID, we couldn't go anywhere so we just camped here in the backyard and uh, had a great time. It was it was fantastic. I mean, trip over the pole, why don't you? Okay, uh, let's uh, get this slid in and, uh, and set up. Uh, hang on a second here. So as I learn my videos, uh, I'm doing a voiceover um, 
with my uh, Toscam uh, recorder and uh, it has a wind muff on it and I tried it outside and I had it set up aside to see uh, what it was like and uh, I think I'm gonna next time I do it I'm gonna carry it with me or put it closer and uh, use them use that instead of the mic on the camera uh, the camera I'm using in this instance is uh, my uh, cell phone and it's the uh, Samsung uh, S20 and I, I'm very impressed with the Samsung uh, uh, phones. They, they do such an excellent job with photography. I do have an Nikon camera and uh, I just find that uh, the cell phone just does a great job and I don't really need to take it any further. Now that being said, the Nikon's an older one but uh, it, it still, you know, it, it does shoot video. It's a lot more complicated to set up. So I'm just using this for this instance. And uh, I'm also using DaVinci, uh, DaVinci 7 for my editing. And that's a free program that you can get. And I find it does a really good job. Um, and uh, it's easy to use. A lot of uh, tutorials on it uh, on the web. Okay, so, let's see, yeah, <laughs> I, ha I have to blame Tony from uh, AB Camping there, he's, uh, he's responsible for me making the choice of the Winona because of uh, um, his, him raving about the 6. I almost got the 6, but uh, I felt that uh, the Winona 4 is the perfect uh, one-man tent. And uh, it, they call it a four-man tent, but I, I say it's one man and a dog. Just like my Outbound, which was theoretically an eight-man tent, I call it a one man and a dog as well. <laughs> because that's uh, that's who's going camping in it. And uh, one of the criteria that I chose for uh, picking a tent was to have one that I could stand in. Um, it, it's important to me to be able to stand up. Uh, I'm full disclosure, I am not going to go hiking anywhere. I'm going to be car camping, well, van camping because I have a van. And uh, I have a, a Cabela's cot, which is uh, about the size of a single bed, and it's very comfortable uh, with an inflatable uh, sleeping mat on it. I'm, I'm good to go. Now, if you do get this Winona tent, you'll notice that the uh, this other last pole that I'm putting in uh, has a bit of a bend to it, and that's uh, that's done at the factory. It is a, it's a, on purpose because I believe that the um, the arc that it's going to fulfill there is a little bit tight, and, and they just pre-stress it, like pre-bend it, so it doesn't stress the pole too much. But uh, yeah, works out quite well. And the first setup, first time I set it up, this like this is the first time setting it up. Um, it's it's shorter. Uh, I have edited it out. Uh, some uh, bumps and things but the um, the first time setting it up it took me about 40 minutes to set up and uh, then now with the uh, with the wonders of modern uh, editing uh, we're getting this uh, set up in like under under 15 and uh, but it, it, it's still easy to set up it's just when you do thing do something for that very first time it, it tends to you know it's a learning curve and, and you, you go about learning it now you might hear some construction going on they're building 13 condos next to me and uh, they got the all the machines going there in the background which is really quite uh, quite annoying as of late because they're jackhammering and all that fun stuff so there we go. We got her set up to lots of ventilation on this tent. Uh, I'm really impressed with the ventilation. Plus, I like the high walls on the sides. Um, not only for privacy, but uh, here in Canada, that's going to help hold some of the heat in. Um, and the, uh, the fly doesn't come all the way down on the sides, but uh, it does definitely cover uh, the, the screened-in areas uh, very nice. And there's a little bit of a place to hang stuff and pockets galore lots of pockets in here there's pockets all over the place uh, I, I like that idea and uh, lots of space it's, it's large and I like the back door that back door is kind of cool 
Now, if it's raining, you're not going to want to open the back door, but uh, the front portion is great. I do have a tarp. Um, later on in the summer, uh, I'll probably try setting this up with a tarp as well, uh, the way Tony did. Um, and we'll see how that uh, how that fares. Um, I like the idea. I like the idea of the way this has the front uh, the front vestibule area, which um, has a little bit of an overhang. So if it is raining, it, it's it, it's going to uh, not unless it's blowing in the front door, uh, it's not going to come in. And if you set the tent up where your winds are coming from the back, it's going to work out. Lots of tie down and lots of guy line uh, points for really windy. I didn't put any of the guy lines out, but um, there's definitely lots of uh, connection points and uh, shouldn't be any problem with, uh, with wind. So let's see now. I think it's uh, we're gonna get that fly on there after we had a little walkabout. And now one at one point there later I um, after it's set up I did throw the drone up in the air and uh, took a couple of shots from above looking down just to uh, have a bit of that flavor. Oh, there here comes the supervisor, good old buddy dog, checking to make sure I'm doing the job right. <clears throat> now one thing I, I did notice um, with the fly um, once you got the front to back sorted out. Uh, the easiest way to set it up is to go and attach with the, the back and then pull it over uh, the side um, the first couple of times I was playing around with this. That is the one tricky part about this tent is putting the fly on, but now that I've done it uh, a couple of times, uh, I'm very comfortable with, uh, with what it is. And like I said, uh, attach it at the back and then uh, and then pull it over. It does have the logo on the front and the back. Sorry, so, I don't know that one. Oh, there goes uh, my partner in crime there. Um, it does have the uh, logo on the front and the back, so it uh, uh, was a little confusing, but it's the, the, the different colored uh, bottoms of the, uh, of the fly that uh, identify it as the front, plus the big door. Goes the beeping of the construction company's uh, machines backing up. I've been going through that for the last couple of months. So much fun. All right, now they have uh, underneath the little Velcro uh, straps that you tie to the uh, poles, and uh, that secures the fly and. I think there's three, I might have missed one, but I'm not sure, but I think there's just three uh, Velcro ties uh, on the two cross, on the two on the side and one on the top, but I might have missed one. Um, I'll check that the next time I set it up. Okay, I'll get the final pegs in the bottom. And uh, we should be, uh, should be golden. Yeah, one thing I, uh, when I set it up the first time, um, I had the tarp on the bottom sticking out the back. Um, now that I realized the size that it takes up, I pulled it forward a little bit so that it, uh, there's more of the tarp in the vestibule. And at the other end, it just, it just comes down. Uh, it just tucks underneath. I'm going to make myself some uh, shock cord uh, loops for the corner of the tarp so that I can have it stretched out and taut to the ground. So there we go. We're all set up. Take a little walk around. You can see how it comes down on the side there. Um, it doesn't come all the way to the ground. It just covers enough to cover the, the venting. And there you can see how the tarp sticks out the back end there. So I, I pulled that forward so it uh, gives me more, uh, more tarp in, in the vestibule, which I think is a better spot for it. Now these side uh, panels, they open up uh, to allow venting. If it's not raining, you're good to go. And the uh, Velcro is just an added, uh, uh, an added feature to keep the uh, water from, uh, or, or wind from blowing it so that the, if water blows underneath, uh, it doesn't go through the zipper, because most zippers are not necessarily waterproof. But the uh, one thing I did notice in, in this, the tarp is, uh, or the tarp, I mean the, uh, the fly is uh, seam sealed with tape and uh, 
the stitching's excellent. Absolutely excellent. I'm very impressed with the uh, with the stitching on the tent. There's that uh, Velcro holding it on there. All right, now it does roll up. I am going to experiment later on and see about using the uh, uh, using the front vestibule door. Like I, I just rolling it up to the top, but using it sort of like uh, with a couple of pulls, like a um, a canopy or a sun a sun shell shield. See how uh, if that works out. Because it's got that arch top, it doesn't it doesn't really um, look like it'd be very functional to have it out on poles. You see here, I'm trying it out, and I'm looking at it, and it, if it was flat, it would probably work. But I don't know that that's going to work like that. Um, but we'll see. Maybe I can just attach one of the the velcros and, and just have it pull out a little bit from a, that first velcro right about there uh, point and uh, see how that works. But for the time being, I do have tarps. I got a couple of tarps which are um, more than sufficient to do the job. Uh, I would set them up very similar to the way Tony set his up. So uh, Tony's a great uh, example. I mean, you want to, I, I love the way he uh, goes and sets his tarps up and uh, gets them taut so that they uh, do the job. Uh, Tony's uh, Tony's famous for having his um, his videos. Uh, he likes to camp in the rain. I too like to camp in the rain. I'm looking forward to it, um, and we're gonna definitely want to uh, practice that uh, uh, initially in the backyard. But we'll uh, we'll definitely get out to some crown land and uh, see about doing some camping there. I, like I said earlier, I'm in the Ontario, Canada area, and uh, this is, uh, we, we do have crown land, it's just not exactly near me at the moment, so I've got to, I've got to do a little bit of a, a tour to get there. Okay, so there's the tent set up, and uh, I think it, it came out pretty good, I think it came out pretty good. Now when I do do the teardown at the end of the video, it was uh, a few minutes, well, more than a few minutes long. So what I've done is I've speed, uh, speeded up the clip with the teardown. And um, I won't be uh, doing the voiceover during the teardown. I think it's pretty obvious. But uh, it, 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 I did want to leave it in. Uh, I know some people uh, will, may have already tuned out by this point. But it, uh, it was one of the things that I wanted to see in a video was the complete setup and teardown. Um, for this particular tent because I couldn't find it anywhere. I mean, in a lot of other tents you can see that there's lots and lots of videos, but uh, this particular one didn't have them. So um, I, I put this together as if for, for what I wanted to see when I was looking. So hopefully this, this helps uh, others out if uh, they're interested. It is a great tent. Uh, I will put a, the next video I do will, will be of me um, actually, you know, setting in the, putting the camp uh, furniture inside it, as in the cot and the sleeping bags and all that. This was just to do the setup, just to give an idea. And uh, oh, I love the size of it. The six would have been bigger, sure, but the four I think is just perfect. The cot will fit in there with the six. Uh, my other tent with the six uh, men. Um, the cot had like two feet of space at either end, which I didn't even use. Um, the dog rolled down, had no problem, but uh, this is this is going to be perfect, I think. So I'm looking forward to uh, spending my first night in it, and uh, that won't be too long in the near future. And uh, right now we're just cleaning out that back door where it has the uh, main cover on the outside and the screen on the inside, so you can pull up the uh, main cover halfway or whatever you want. I, I did it. Uh, just up a bit so that I could uh, leave it open a bit to see how the venting would work. Lots of fresh air, good good air circulation in there. And if I guy the uh, the tarp out, I didn't guy anything out. But if I guy the tarp out on the sides, like not having the window rolled up per se, um, the air will flow underneath and up, but no problem. <coughs> I don't see any issues there. And the the little vents at the front that have their little hold the, the little sticks that hold them open or um, that, that's great so let's see uh, yeah my little
little garden off to the side. So that's it set up. The Winona and, Four. Uh, the Winona Four. The Winona Four, yeah. I'm very pleased with it. Very pleased. So we're going to have the inspection. In, but he's going to do his uh, two cents, so I better take his lead off so that he doesn't drag the chain across the, uh, the bathtub floor. And there he goes inside, checking it out, and uh, he's quite, uh, quite quite pleased with it. Um, but he approved, yeah. So I tried to get him to sit in the sun, and he decided, no, I'm going to go sit in the corner over here, I'm going to go over there. Finally, I got up to sit in the sun there. Now, the next clip has no audio um, because it's a drone clip, uh, and I didn't bother to. Uh, um, I don't. I don't have a, a voiceover for it uh, planned, but uh, it, it's a a minute or two of uh, of drone footage uh, looking down on the tent and getting a view from above. After that, it's the teardown, and the teardown, like I said, it's uh, speeded up, uh, mega speeded up, so you can just watch the teardown happen and uh, and go through it. Want to uh, take a moment here to thank you for watching, and uh, really appreciate uh, um, anybody hey. who uh, takes a look hey. at the, my video. Having uh, said that, uh, if you'd like to subscribe, I've only got uh, not even 100 subscribers at this point. Uh, so we're looking for more subscribers, obviously. And uh, if you like the video, uh, click the like button and look forward to uh, uh, seeing more videos. I have other videos out there that you can have a look at. Um, the theme is kind of all over the place at the moment because I got some construction videos and I got this and that. But I am, uh, I am focusing on drones and uh, hopefully some more camping ones and uh, bushcrafting. So not, not a total niche market there, but, uh, but definitely uh, a few other uh, areas to uh, consider. So this is with the drone. And uh, I said I wasn't going to do voiceover on it, but it's there. <laughs> I'm talking, so there it is. And with that, I'll uh, wish you guys all a great day. And you'll see the teardown in about um, uh, 10, 15 seconds. 7-3, talk to you all later. Thank you.